Okay, the next stage in um, cutting out a rebate is to do that, is to cut the rebate. So we need to use a bench hook, which I've got set up over here. So you can see it, there's a bench hook. They live just under the tables, sitting under there. And the bench hook has provision, there's a little gap over here if you're right-handed. On the other side, if you turn it around, it'll become a left-handed, suitable for a left-handed person. Push our uh, piece of wood, workpiece, firmly against the end of this block. And then we're going to cut. Now, to do the cutting, very important here now that when you cut using a, cutting a rebate joint and doing any saw cut, we're going to use a tenon saw, which is this saw over here. Use a pistol grip, so hold your finger down the end like that and hold it like a pistol. And to start off, probably the most important cut that you'll do is the first cut. So the first cut, we want to make sure that the saw blade is cutting on the waist side of the line. So if you can see up there nice and close, I'll see if I can zoom it in a little bit for you. Yeah? Up the top right hand corner there, you can see that the saw blade is sitting just on the waist side of the line. Now I'm going to draw the saw blade back very carefully for you and make a groove. There it is. I'm just drawing it backwards because it's easier than pushing it forwards. So what I've done is created a small groove. Wait till we get focused. There's a small groove in just the right spot. Now, once I've got that groove established, I'm going to draw the saw. And I'm sorry if it's a bit wobbly here now. I'm going to draw the saw backwards and forwards and cut along the line by lowering the saw blade. Like that. See that? Now I'll stop it here now and show you. So you can see there's the saw cut all the way right next to the line. Now I've got my depth set, I don't want to cut below that point. And I'm same thing on the other side, so I'm going to check both sides just to make sure. Yeah? Now let's start again. So the sawing here now, backwards and forwards. Taking your time, and I want to make sure that I'm cutting in the right spot, so I'm going to stop regularly and check. Yeah, a little bit more. A little bit more on that side, and I'm going to keep cutting until I reach that bottom line. So much of what we're doing with woodwork and any kind of material really is making sure that you you're accurate with your joints. All right. So here we go. Cut down to the line. I've cut down to the line there, and I'm pretty happy with that. So that's your saw cut, and that's probably very important. It's very important that that saw cut is at right angles. So if I had to use the tri-square to show you, that saw cut needs to be at right angles to my workpiece. Yeah, very important. That's where your line work and marking out comes in. So there it is. Ready to go. Now it's time to chisel.